All right, good morning. It's 8.54 a.m. I'm not going to start the trade today until 10.30. We got news and this end of the week. I need to do some kind of Excel tip or help or model structure template something. So I've got a busy day all day, so I'm trying to do something quick, but still that's very useful. So what the heck to do is the question. I'm trying to think of all the projects I've done this week or anything that could help. They're really difficult. You know, I try to do one of these a week. Now I'm basically trying to do one main, like, big model a month. Like, you know, last month I did the mobile home park. Uh, maybe this month, I don't know, I got to think of something big. But I don't have time to do something big today. So I'm trying to do something that might help you guys out there using Excel. What could I do? Hmm. This is not easy. Uh. I've done a lot of stuff with trade tracking. Done a lot of stuff with inventory, budgeting, real estate. KPIs. What to do, what to do. I'm Well, stand by. Let me think of something. Can't think with the pressure of the mic on here. Okay, well, we're going to do some correlation. So let's say you're a website designer or a website marketer or something. You have clients and you want to show some kind of relation between the amount of money spent on advertising and sales. So here we go. Let's say we have our dates down the right here. Let's just say we're going to do one month, but you could literally do this for, you know, years or 10 years or however long, much data you got. So let's say 1 1 2017. And we're going to go all the way to the end of the month. And then, so you've got your date, we've got, let's give us some format, you got your date, you've got your, what I say, we're doing ad spend. And it could be as granular as different products too, but we're just going to assume just sales in general. And then let's just put in some numbers here. Let's say, first of all, this is going to be currency. Let's say 500. Let's say you spend 500 the first week a day, then you're going up to 750 for this week, then you're going up to 1500, then you go back down to 250, and then let's say you end up at 3000 in the last couple of days. So you're trying to figure out, you know, and the reason why you do this is you want to see if there's a relation between when you spend money and the sales it gets, or you want to see if there is a boost um, 
first of all, you'd want to see what your sales are without spending any money in the same time frame. Or you could do it in the same week and just assume every week is a cycle or a period. So you say, you say well, this week we spent nothing. And then the next week we spent something and certain days peaked. You know, did those days peak more with sales by how much was it worth it, etc. But to do that and to know if there's any correlation at all, we're going to do this. So, so here's our ad spend. Now I'm going to build, build in a correlation just to show you what it might look like. Let's say you're at uh, sales at 10,000. And it goes up to 12 a little bit then say we pop up to 16 and we're dropping back down to say 10 for a little bit and then at the end go to 20 now this is going to be very correlated but well, so I'm going to show you what kind of metrics you can use and what kind of visuals to try to make this look good for whoever you're presenting it to. So, okay, we've got that's our data. Now we want to run a correlation. So, this is. Insert how closely related is ad spend to sales and over a long period of data it will be meaningful like if you have a whole year here you can definitely tell if your sales are related to the or to the ad spend in any way now it could be coincidence over one month or one week, but over a long period of time, if there's a correlation there, then you're gonna know it. So equals correlation, and here's what you simply do: you got your one array, and you got your second array, and that's it. And look at this, actually, not super correlated a 0.5 correlation now if I were to go I could probably make it stronger positively correlated if I were to make all of these this down to 5 because I had some layover here to try to show you not make it exactly one to one but look at this now yeah 0.83. Now the strongest correlation you can have is one to one, which is basically saying every dollar you go up, you go up the same, um, relatively the same on the other side. So if you go up, say one, two, three, four, and this is going up two, four, six, eight, that's going to be one to one. So 0.83 is a strong correlation. Anything from you know 0.65 to one is very strong positively correlated. Anything from negative 0.65 to negative one, which means as a negative correlation or a negative number here would mean as your ad spend goes up, your sales go down. So let's say this was your sales go down as this goes up. And this is going up now. And this is going back down. Now watch is gonna be should be negative. Yeah, negative point eight four. So that's what the number means. Put it back to positive. Just cause it's easier normally for people to understand a positive correlation, so so how closely related are sales to ad spend? Well here, 0.83, it's a pretty strong correlation. Now we can also do a chart. Put 
probably a chart with a line graph. So here we'll make the sales on a separate axis. And there you go. And you can see kind of visually now if you just wanted to look at what's going on. The correlation between the two. So here, you know, sales are flat. We move up to actually, oh, we didn't move these up at all. It's just to really visually show. Oh, hold on, I'll save this later. So, let's put an axis or legend in. What's that dip? Oh, 20. So you've got the line saying what your sales are over time and your spend in ads. So clearly, sales are really, really correlated to what your ad spend is. Now, the idea would be to spend less and get more out of it, but that's a whole different story. Here, we're just trying to show how to work with the data. So you got your correlation here. We've got a visual. And I mean I think that's pretty good for today. So we'll wrap it up there. And this could be a, a chart. This could have literally every single day of the year on it. It would just be smaller bars or you could just have um two you know you could change this to a line instead of a bar if you just want to look at two um two line graphs but i like to have one different type it just kind of is easier to differentiate um so I guess that's it. There's a lot of ways you can go with this. There's a lot of different analysis you can do if you want to separate out by product type, type of ad spend, all different types of things, different correlations you want to find. But that's one nice thing that Excel is definitely going to be good for. Um, so I will have this template up on smarthelping.com if you want to buy it. Now the, if you do buy it, I will come with one hour of free time because I am charging $45 so basically that's I'm just charging for my hour of time and that hour will be used to help you set up your specific situation or how to set it up and then you also will get this template to to play with all right have a great day and I am off well, I'll be back later today with the the trade but happy we got this out for the week. Have a great day.